So who can tell me the name of the artist that we studied last time? Jane Morgan. Jane Morgan. Jane Morgan. What was she also known as? Honeyberry Lady. Lady. Very good. Honeyberry Lady. Now Jane sketches all of her drawings with paint and a paintbrush. No pencils. That's what we're doing today. So I want your paper to be portrait. Your painting on the side that does not have your name on it. Your paintbrush should have a nice point to it. And it should be a little, we've just wet it and cleaned it, but it's dried off, right? It's not dripping water. Now I want you to watch, don't do with me yet. When we draw with our paintbrush, we don't load it up with paint. We get just a little bit on the tip of our brush. And we're drawing with white, don't do it yet. And we are going to draw, we're going to pretend like this is a ballerina. And she needs to stay up on her toes to make it a pretty dance. It's going to be a nice skinny line, remember that? If she goes down on her booty, not a pretty dance. It's going to be a big fat line. We don't need a big fat line to dance or to draw. So she's going to stay up on her toes. With you sitting at the table, the top of your paintbrush should be pointing to the ceiling. Mine, because mine is up on the wall, it's going to be pointed out to y'all. So watch right in the middle of my paper. I'm going to draw with just the tip of my brush an ellipse, which is a flat circle. I'm not going to go back over it. I'm not going to make it wider so I can see it better. This is a sketch. We're going to paint over most of this. If you make it dark white, it's going to show up in your final painting. We don't want it to. So don't worry about putting more paint on your brush and going back and going, ooh, I can see a little black there. It don't matter. That's good if you can see a little black there. I'm not even going to put more paint on my brush to do the next two lines. Okay? Until I cannot see anymore, I'm not putting any more paint on my brush. So carefully take the top off of your white. Put the top on the table. Dip the tiny tip of your brush into that white. Put that white back in the tray. Make sure it's where everybody can reach it. Dip your tip of your brush in and paint what I have up here so far. If you have long sleeves on, push them up. Tip of your brush. There you go. See the difference? Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be pretty. Next step, make sure you get those two side lines that go down a little bit. And then we have two little lines that go out at an angle. Remember, we're drawing a mayonnaise jar. Yeah. Yeah. Put a little more on. Because you started really hot. No, no, no. We don't wash our brush. The whole time we're drawing with white, we never wash it off. That's just wasting paint. You just dip back in, get a little bit more. I will let you know when it's time to wash your brush. Okay? Next lines. Don't go all the way to the end of the paper. Okay? Do not go to the bottom. But we're going to draw long, straight-ish lines and stop about there. If they're not perfectly straight, it's okay. We're going to straighten them out in the painting. Keep your brush up on his toes. And then we're going to join those two lines together with a slightly downward curving line. Slightly downward curving. Not straight across. There you go. And so you can fix it because it's a sketch. Okay, now we're going to draw the table line, and this jar is going to be see-through, so this table line is going to be up a little bit, about halfway up the jar, and we're going to draw right through the jar, because we're going to see it. Don't wash your brush yet, because we're not finished. Okay. Now, flowers. 
we're do, gonna do three big flowers, but we are not gonna draw petals today. We're gonna draw shape of flowers. So watch, then do. I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on my brush, not a lot. And I'm gonna draw a small circle and a big circle. I'm gonna draw, don't draw yet. Down here, I'm gonna draw a small circle and a big circle and it overlaps that corner of the jar. And one more. Small circle, big circle. So three of those. Then you're going to wash and dry your brush. Okay? Get those drawn. Don't forget the circle inside. Wash and dry your brush. Wash and dry your brush when you get your, cir your circles done, your flowers done. Then you're going to put your paintbrushes down. And I'm going to show you the next step. And the next step is fast and furious. <laughs> it is a movie. It's a good movie. And if you play your cards right, you could do like yesterday afternoon's class, and we could get our table painted too. That got a lot done yesterday. Is there an eight? An eight? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Do you want to be painting a honey bear? Uh, I don't think so. We're going to do flowers. Yes, we ever do paint a honey bear? It's going to probably be around when we get a little older. <laughs> Alright, everybody got it done? Wash and dry those brushes? Mm -hmm. Isabel, you got to be fast and furious. Come on now. <laughs> Put a little more paint on that brush. Now notice we haven't done stems yet. Stems come later. Later. Alright, wash and dry that brush, put it on the table. And put all eyes on me. Ready? Alright, your background. We're going to do the background that is above the table. So everything below this line is going to stay black. Everything above this line that's background is going to be painted, even the stuff inside the jar. Got it, Luke? Got it. Okay. All right. You are going to use, I picked different colors for different classes for backgrounds. Your background is going to be that bright royal blue. Yes. Okay. But wait. Just wait. Don't take the top off yet. Here's how you do it. You remember, oh, no, 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 don't put the top on the white. We still need it. Remember, in all of Jane's paintings, there were no beautiful, smooth brush strokes, right? What did they look like? Like swirls. There's lots of movement in them. I'm going to show you how to get that movement, and it requires you to paint really fast, okay? And it requires you to paint in small chunks because you're using two colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch. <laughs> the first color is that blue. And this time, instead of just the tip of your brush, you're going to load your brush up. Load. Yes. I'm going to start up here in the top corner. We're not going to paint all the way to the edge of our paper. We're not going to get it all over the table. We're going to leave a little bit of black showing. And we're gonna, just going to paint like crazy. Okay. And you're going to paint right up to the flowers. You're going to paint right up to the jar. If you go over it a little bit, no big deal. When you run out of paint, you just dip more in. When you get about this much done, you're going to stop. You don't wash your brush. You pick up some white, not as much as you did blue. And you go back. 
Right? Right? It makes a different color blue. Now. Yeah, it's making blue. Does this make it look like it's showing some movement? Do you think if I did long, pretty brush strokes that it would look the same? No. No. So once I get that done, I don't wash my brush because I got almost all the white off of it. I'm going to load it back up with blue and I'm going to go over here. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go right around all those flowers. I'm going to go right down here. I hope you're watching as much as you're talking. I'm going to pick up a little white. And I'm just kind of dabbing it. You don't want to blend it in all the way because you want to see some blue and you want to see some white. If you get too much white, you just put some more blue on there. Now, once you get all that done, that's when you want to wash your brush. You want to get all the white off of it. Scrub it really good. Don't pick it up yet. Not finished. You dry it. Inside the jar, we're still going to see the background. Up here is still background. This part is going to be covered by the flower, so we don't need to worry about that. But we don't want it to be the same exactly. When, when light travels through glass, it kind of changes the color of what's behind it. So we're going to just use the blue and do the inside of the jar. So all of this will just be blue. Now notice I'm not painting over my lines. And I'm not painting a long stripe down there started to and then I thought about it. I'm not trying to cover up all the black and I'm not making the dark blue. And then I'm done. Okay? When you get that done, wash and dry your brush, put it on the table. If there's time, I'll show you how to do the table. This table. Go.